to my channel. Today I will be filming a wig install featuring this Ali Pearl hair. They have sent me their 13 by 4 26 inch straight units. Yes, this is 26 inches. And I believe the density is 220. I don't have the bag anymore, but it's either 220 or 180. I know y'all want me to get straight right into the install, so I'm going to just give y'all a quick rundown of what came with my wig. So she came in this cute pink box, and I got some HD wig caps, got some eyelashes, gorgeous Ali Pearl edge band, storage bag for my wig. And yeah, so... I'ma just go ahead and hop right into the hair tutorial and show y'all, show y'all the beats. Get, let's get right into it. Y'all already know what time it is. We back with the voice overs. Yes, ma'am. All right, so right here, I'm just measuring the wig to see, you know, how it might fit over my ear. I love that this wig has HG lace because y'all see how I just seen you right through that, how easy that was to cut. Anyways, so yeah, I just part it off until I can see my ear or I can like, see, you know, see a little skin above my ear and then I cut. That's really how I measure my ear pieces. Works for me sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Cut her up into three pieces. Pull that forehead back. Pull, pull that gargantuan forehead back. God, dog, you see my tan line, y'all? I gotta stop wearing wigs. I'm gonna stop one day. Not today. Not today at all. But yeah. I go on with small dots. I like to spread my th layers very thin because the more thin I spread them, the more seamless my install comes out. So I try not to do like those big bulky layers of glue. I also heard that if you spread your glue in a line, you get better distribution versus doing the um, dot method. And I really agree with that because when you do the dot method, you have to make sure you blend the first glue that you apply you can't touch the, the glue that you already touched you know what i'm saying you have to you can only spread the fresh glue because the group this first layer of glue is already dry so you're just messing it up anyways place my lace right on top pressing my lace in with my fingertips like my literally pressing it in before i put it on put my band on it did come with that band but y'all i couldn't find it at that moment and i, I have horrible you know I, I have a little patience like I just I can't do it anyways I started sectioning off my hair to flat iron it um sometimes yeah, not even sometimes it really is best to do your flat iron your hair in sections if you want it to be bone straight flat I will recommend smaller sections than this honestly because I'm doing it in pretty big sections but yeah if you want your hair super bone straight I say flat iron in small sections this will work as well but you're not getting the heat throughout each strand that you probably want. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could, it could be silkier. If you're looking at your hair thinking, hmm, I can't get it more straight than this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Anyways, y'all, y'all see how, look at how silky this hair is. Like, do I really need to do sections? Not for real. Like, not for real. Because really, you only, when you flat iron in certain types of hair, their curl pattern be so deep in the, in the unit that you have to try to straighten it out. But this, with this unit, it's so flexible. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I washed her and all, you know, she she just, you know, she was a little body wave. But when it came to blow drying her back straight, I ain't had no issues with that at all. Like, it was probably one of the most easiest wigs I've ever, like, straightened. I used wild silk. I did use a little bit too much, as y'all can see in the front. We're just going to have to even that out throughout my hair. Y'all see how I gave up on doing sections that fast? <laughs> y'all, I can't do sections to save my life. But yeah, we um we just going through flat iron and doing a comb chase method. The comb chase method at least gonna give me a good thorough flat iron. Best believe I went over this in the morning though. Know? We ain't we ain't gonna leave my house looking like you know what I'm saying. But yeah, we just flat ironing, flat ironing. I feel like I should keep y'all entertained while I'm flat ironing my hair, but we almost done. And yeah. I'm trying to think what else I can say about this hair because Ali Pearl, let's listen. One thing about Ali Pearl, they gonna eat every time. Like every time I get an email from Ali Pearl, I'm running to my phone. Like, yes, please, please give me one. Yes, I'm doing it. I'll do it. What y'all what y'all want my soul for a wig? I'm doing it. Cause look at this wig, y'all. Y'all see this lace? It come pre-plugged too. Like, y'all realize I never really plug Ali Pearl wigs, right? 
because it come like that. Like, yeah, y'all not hearing me for real. Y'all not hearing me for real, and it's okay. But yeah, y'all, like, oh, it come pre-plugged, but it doesn't come pre-bleached. I remember y'all asking me that in my last Ellie Pro video. It does not come pre-bleached. I mean, it possibly, honestly, the knots, the knots are seamless, so it might look pre-bleached, and you could just add makeup on your lace if you that type of girl because honestly you can't get away with it like that's that's just how the wig is but me personally i like to bleach my knots so i can i can hide them better i'm just I, i'm a hide the knots girly if i can bleach my wig for five hours i would because i look you do because y'all bleaching wig don't take it, it don't take 30 minutes it take almost an hour but anyways y'all i'm parting off my edges right here as y'all can see I kind of just, I kind of like just part where I want to see my baby hairs lay. I don't really have no like exact strategic way to explain this to y'all. I just part out little C's right above my eyebrow. I kind of, kind of stop at the tail end of my brows as y'all can see where I pull hair from. Well, oh, never mind. I lied. Ooh. Never mind. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like give an accurate description of how I pull out my lashes, but it's not working. But for my ears though, I'm trying to I'm trying to work on cutting out my uh, sideburn tabs better because sometimes they be looking a little out of place. Anyways, I'm spraying some got to be milk spray. Not got to be some spritz. Sorry, I'm spraying spritz on my hair because Eben has been doing me dirty. We doing that second melt process. We already did the first melt. Now we're doing the second melt. So yeah, cutting my edges with that little razor making sure my the the ends that are more towards the center of my part i'm gonna make those hairs shorter and then when it goes more to my um you know the rest of the hairs won't be longer just know those middle little baby hairs i want them shorter so i can give like a more natural effect i like having i like having my baby hairs in layers if that makes sense like i don't want them all one length notice my baby hairs are too thick and so i had to pluck them it's okay to pluck y'all baby hair. Sometimes I don't want to. Sometimes I over pluck. Sometimes I never pluck. Yes. It don't matter, y'all. As long as you put that wig on right. And you do the edges how you feel comfortable doing your edges. Your wig gonna come out perfect every time. Like, every time. Y'all see I'm swooping them. Oop. Swoop the doop the doop skadoop. Swoop the doop. Swoop the doop. Swoop the doop skadoop. Ooh, swoop. 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 Alright, I'm done. I was trying to get myself a little sound effect, but it's not working. Y'all see how picky I am on my edges, like, y'all see it already. I'm off the doormat together. Oh, yeah, my mama behind me, talk, behind me, y'all, uh, while I was recording. So, that's just her. This is me and her talking. Anyways, now it's time to the other side of my edges, the side I struggle the most with. It's just, it never want to cooperate how the other side cooperates. And I just think it doesn't like me. So, I'm just going to let let that be. Let that sideburn long because you know I like my sideburns long. I like to fantasize. I like to have those, ex you know, extravagant long sideburns. There we go. Shaping them, shaping them. All right, and we done. Y'all see how gorgeous this hair is? Like seriously, I don't think y'all see how gorgeous this hair is. Ali Pro did that big one. Y'all definitely did y'all big one. Yep. Y'all not seeing the lace. Because y'all can't. This hair grew from my scalp. You will never stop me. Anyways, y'all want to know what this clip is from? Guess guess how many days it's been with this clip. Five days. And look at look at how my hair looks. It's still brand new. A, a swoop might be out of place, but my lace ain't shifted. Because I can't even find it. But anyways, y'all, I thought I'd just come on here and show y'all how my hair was looking after five days. And show y'all how I be touching it up or whatnot. Because, you know, I'd really be going days without styling or curling or straightening my hair. Because I just love this, the softness of Ali Pearl's hair. Like, I just try not to add too much heat to it. I just want to keep it at its natural state as possible because how how soft it is. And I don't want to put too many oils in it to weigh it down. So I try to, I try to, you know, do as less as possible. But y'all see how it's flat on it right now? So, one pass. Y'all see how curly it was? One pass. Like, y'all don't understand what, what drug Alley Pearl hair is. Like, once you get one wig, 
You're going to be hooked. I promise you. I promise you. Y'all, I'm going to let y'all just see because y'all not understanding. Y'all not hearing me for real. So I'm going to let y'all watch. I'm going to let y'all watch. So now I'm just touching up my edges, you know. I use a little bit of spritz. Sometimes I use mousse. I use mousse and a hairspray. The uh, mousse adds that little soft effect. The hairspray adds that hold that I need. And then if I want to fluff them out, I just comb them out the next morning. And I have the soft, fluffy edges. So, yeah. And we just going to fast them up. Then we go swoop the loop. One day I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all a detailed edge tutorial because I remember when I was first doing my wigs and I was looking up how to do edges and I was looking up girls edges like and I was really trying to mimic the ones from the YouTube tutorial and I wouldn't get nothing near it and I feel like after two years of from watching those YouTube videos I finally figure out what the formula was to knowing how to do your edges so yeah oh y'all see this love Yes, Ellie Pearl hair. That's her hair. That's Ellie Pearl. That's Ellie Pearl. 10 out of 10. Hair, her hair. Ooh. Ooh, Ellie Pearl. Y'all ain't had to do me like this. Y'all bless the girl once again, and I love y'all for that. Because look at this. Look at this hair. I feel like a whole new person with my ashy lips. Ugh. Ooh, yes, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Look at how the hair flows. Don't, don't do this to them. Don't do this to them. Look at how that, oh, girl, yes. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep commentating because the hair is just that good. It's just that good. But yeah, y'all see it. Uh-huh. 
Alright, y'all. That's the rest of my video. Thank you so much for watching.